Have you recently been to a bike shop and came across those big chunky bikes? Well, then you might have known them as fat bikes. Those bikes are pretty eye-catching, resembling monster trucks with their huge tires. And when you say fat bike, another name comes along with it, the Surly Bike. Though the company started out known for its single-speed bikes in the late 1990s, by the 2010, it became famous for fat tire bikes. So let's go a bit further to see how Surly Bikes reached here. And what's the story? The journey started in the 1998, when a company called Quality Bicycle Products in Minnesota, USA, created the Surly brand to go along with their other bike brands like Salsa Cycles. Back then, not many people had heard of fat bikes, which were only made for riding in snow. The bikes were rare and expensive to make. So, Quality Bicycle Products decided to make parts standard, which made it easier to produce fat bikes on a bigger scale and sell them in mass quantity. At first, Surly was known for its single-speed bikes, but later on, it became famous for its fat tire bikes. Two guys named Wakeman Massey and Dave Gray played a big part in making these bikes using the company's machinery. As time passed, lots of other bike brands started using Surly tires for their fat bikes. Surly bikes officially started in 1998, based in Bloomington, Minnesota. Even though they have a similar name, Surly Bikes and Surly Brewing Company are different. They made an agreement before the brewery started, so there wouldn't be any problems. But in April 2020, because of COVID-19, the parent company had to lay off 12% of its workers. It was a tough time for Surly and its parent company. But after the pandemic, they kept going and overcame the tough times. When Surly first came onto the bike scene, they faced stiff competition from other brands. So naturally, they needed to come up with something unique to stand out. Their first bike model was the Rat Ride, which renamed as 1X1 later. Following this, Surly expanded its lineup to include bike parts, as well as road bikes like the Crosscheck, trail bikes like the Karate Monkey, and eventually mountain bikes. However, it wasn't until 2005 when Surly truly made waves with the introduction of the Pugsley Fat Bike. This bike just kickstarted the fat bike craze in the industry. Surly boldly introduced the world's first production fat bike, sporting a purple color that became famous. This particular color was only available for a short time, which made it even more special. The Pugsley sold for $2,200 in 2005 and will likely be remembered as a key part of fat bike history. Even though it's an older model, the 2005 Pugsley is just as capable as newer versions. It can handle tires up to four inches wide, one noticeable difference from later models, like the 2014 Pugsley, is that the older version has rim brake bosses, which allowed riders to use cantilever brakes if they want. There are also some visual differences, like the offset fork on the 2005 model and the taller seat tube extension, with a brace on newer ones. This bike's launch was a table-turning moment for Surly. They thought of it, and it happened. Another fat tire bike that took the attention of the users is their Big Fat Tummy, a bike that came with a longer top tube and slacker head tube. So, uh, the Big Fat Tummy, why did we do it? Excellent question. Duh, because we could. All right, we've made fat bikes, we made cargo bikes. The mashing of the two together just seems to make sense. Basically, they're known for making bikes that are tough and work well in different places, like cities or rough trails. People love them because they can handle all sorts of riding preferences. And the growth of Surly bikes continued because of their commitment to versatility with the room for customization. Like Mr. Dan said, You see, at Surly, we believe a bike should be purpose-built for the type of riding that you want to do. We also think it's pretty great when a person's bike is a reflection of their personal style. Now, after knowing their initial story, you might wonder if the company of Surly Bikes has had enough growth recently. Well, according to People AI, the value of Surly Bikes has been growing since 2020. In that year, it was worth $10.1 million. Fast forward to 2024, and its net worth has increased to $16.8 million. Before diving deep into the prominent bike models of Surly, we want to know how you've enjoyed the story so far. If you liked it, we'd love to get subscribed, and then we'll take straight to the prominent bike models of Surly. Well, we must start with the Surly Crosscheck, 
It's a versatile commuter bike that performs well during off-road adventures. It is an excellent hybrid between a road and mountain bike that you can take out for pavement riding, touring, and daily commutes. Then the straggler pavement bike, you can ride on gravel or go on a bikepacking adventure anytime. It is ideal for touring with the heavy-duty loading options it offers. The Midnight Special is a high-end road bike from Surly Bikes that shines when pavement riding through potholed areas and gravel. It is designed to offer comfort and speed for long-distance cycling, even when you're not riding on smooth pavement. Whether you plan to go on a solo ride or take a break from the city, the Disc Trucker is a long-distance touring bike that can do the job. This is a purebred touring bike with drop bar handlebars that are comfortable to grip and operate. The Pugsley is an extreme off-road expedition mountain bike from Surly. According to Surly, this is a fat tire bike for riders looking for a smooth ride when backpacking and riding on rough trails. Well, with that being said, it looks like we are at the finish line. Surly Bikes has come a long way since it started. They've gone from small beginnings to becoming a big name in biking. The bikes are known for being excellent quality and for working well in different places you might want to ride, like in cities, on rough trails, or on big adventures. But it's not just about the bikes themselves. Surly has created a community of people who love biking and exploring new places. They're all about versatility, customization, and trying new things on bikes. As Surly keeps growing, one thing never changes. They always want to make bikes that make people happy and excited to ride. So, what's your thought on their bike? Share with us if you have ridden any one of them. We'd love to hear from you.